Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Unepic. Last time, we helped a spirit return to, well, wherever dead spirits end up going. Well, I guess spirits aren't dead. Spirits trapped on, or trapped where they died, I don't, yeah, stuff. We helped the spirit out, basically free themselves from being trapped in this plane of existence. There we go, that's a good explanation. We're gonna stick with that. If I can remember correctly how to get back to, in general, where we were. We were in the process of finding a old section of the castle where they were doing some mining. Apparently, from what we have learned, the way th to the mine is not exactly safe. It's apparently collapsing and there's boulders flying all over the place. There may be alternate ways through, but of course Zara being an asshole won't tell us. I can't particularly blame him, he does kind of want us to die. It's because he's kind of trapped in our body and all. But, anyway. Here we go, this is where we left off in the previous episode. And there are those boulders I mentioned. We're gonna make a run for it. Hopefully not get squished like that. Not instant death, fortunately. And it looks like we made it. And I might have spoken too soon. Oof, just, oof, crap. Alright. Another one? Hmm. Okay, now there are, uh, multiple sections of, of this. It's not just a trick where it's gonna loop forever. It might loop forever, I don't know, but we seem to be progressing. Holy crap, I made it! I've got, like, plus 20 to dodging. Hey, Zara, take that, I'm still alive. God watches over fools and children. Wait, what are all these things looking at me? They look like floating eyes. They must be like Harnikon spies. I better try to kill them before they alert someone. I'll try to hit them with my bow from here. To aim a, to aim a far target, press the tab key. You can only aim targets that are within your line of sight. All right, bow, tab key, fire. Easy enough, and we don't have to wait for the arrow to hit before we can shoot at the next target. Hopefully no more boulders will be coming down trying to kill us. I'll switch back to my sword. Aha! Hey, this gate! Looks like the one I saw before near the healing spirit. Indeed. But naturally, it can't be a safe passage, as my oh-so-wise mentor told me recently. There is no safer passage to reach the mine. To open the gate place... To open the gate... It is a gate place. To open the gate place, stand in front of it and press enter. Once open, press enter again to enter. Yeah, n now, this definitely isn't the little central chamber that connects the, the entire castle. Kind of, I imagine it's kind of like the elevator in uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory where you can just kind of go every which way you so please. This must be the mine, as the spirit told me. The oracle must be somewhere at the top. I'll have to find a way to go up. Look, Zara, down there is some kind of passage. Maybe it leads to the oracle. But it's too far. I can't make that jump. Wait, there's a rope right there that reaches the other side. Let's see if I can slide on it. Press up to jump. When you're in the air near the rope, press up once again to grab the rope. You can also grab a rope without or grab a rope while falling. To leave the rope, press down. Aha! We made it. Start lighting up this room. That's something. Hmm. That is also something. Ring of the Archer. And a scroll of melee mastery. Oh, I don't want to pause the game. All right, inventory. Extra damage with bows, plus four. That seems handy. May as well equip that. And scroll of melee mastery. Increases the damage of melee attacks by plus 50, the chance of critical hits by plus 15%, and the speed of attacks by 15%. Well, I'm gonna hold on to that for the moment. And also going to try to get over there. It doesn't look like I can. Or maybe I can. <sighs> so I'm gonna interact with this. What's the worst that can happen? When the monk caught the arrow with his naked hand, Zelurius the Great said, the domain of mind and the domain of body are together the key to superiority. You have discovered the challenge, the king of dodge. The challenge is, 
dodge all falling rocks between the columns and the corridor to the mine. Oh, we almost did that. Oh. Hmm. Let's drop down here. You know, what, again, what's the worst that could happen? That's the worst that could happen. Well, it looks like we're lost down here now. Uh-oh. Oh boy, he's got a sword. Just gonna beat the crap out of him before he has a chance to react. Maybe we can sneak through here. Let's go ahead and turn off our our lighter. Let's also put this on a hotkey. Sign a shortcut. Let's put it on seven. It's near my hand. Let's put that off. Maybe we can sneak up. Ah. Ah, the guard fell asleep too. Stealthy sneaky time. Ha! Ah, uh, I might have gotten spotted. Maybe he'll forget about me. Ha, ah, indeed. And sneaky. Sneak our way through here without many confrontations. Although they are apparently able to turn around in their sleep. Uh, don't bend down. Or that, do that. Oh, I kill this guy quick enough? That's bad. Sword time. So yeah, that <laughs> that's bad. I kind of forgot to heal up after going through that mine room. Now my question is, does... Oh, what I should have done was come back through here and healed myself up. You know, considering I was, like, right over yonder somewhere to the right. Alright, so death number two. I am surprised that number is not substantially higher at this point. It may get substantially higher substantially quickly. That doesn't make sense, but you know what I mean. It might increase rapidly. So hopefully that is not the actual case. Let's see if I can sneak under that. Yes. Alright. And let's see if I can do that challenge without actually having the challenge. And maybe I can, can complete it instantly. Just by not getting hit through. Oh, okay, I still have the challenge. I have a minute to do it. Alright. So far, so good. Oh, do I just... Alright, hang on. Let's get to the relative safety of the side of the room. Let's see. So I guess I just have to... Oh, hello. Let's get out of, get out of the way. I guess I just stay in the room, center of the room for a minute. Hello. Oh, hello again. Also kind of curious if I can get hit on the second, uh, oh, after it bounces the first time. But I don't particularly care to find out halfway through this challenge. Actually, you know what? Let's actually just progress through this area first before I start trying 20 times. We'll get that door open, we'll go heal up to full health. Or we'll get the door open, we'll try one more time. Because we have enough hit points for that, and then we'll go heal up and try one more time. Ah, not this, not this time. Holy crap, I made it, plus 20 to dodge. Fool the children, the gods watch over you, blah, blah, blah. Hard to get a spy, let's get our bow out again. Target shoot, target shoot, target shoot, target. Okay, apparently I can switch targets while I have the arrow knocked and drawn. Not yet, knocked and drawn. I believe from time to time I actually use the correct terminology with some stuff. Alright, there's the door. Hey, a gate. Someone... This couldn't possibly lead to safety, blah 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 stuff. Yes. Alright, challenge time. Actually, I'm gonna do something just a tiny bit different. We're gonna ignore the challenge for the moment. We're gonna have a little mini episode kind of following this. That'll be just doing the challenge. Rope, okay. Yeah, not gonna read, listen to stuff that I've already done. Now the question is, should I fall down like I did? Or should I, you know, go where I intended? That is a good question. I also should have healed up like I had mentioned doing. Now let's see if I can manage to jump on this elevator. Here we go, it's coming up. And where is it? 
I don't did was I was not paying attention to how far or how long it's been going down. So I'm just gonna have to hope I can react and jump in time. There we go, and just made it. Gonna go save the game real quick and heal up. And there was a reason I wanted to do that, and I forgot already. Oh, just for the, I think just for the hell of it. Because why not be at full health for exploring? Health is restored. Good deal, good deal. I get the feeling that that guy is going to be the like final boss of the game. Or at least one of them. Although I guess anything but the final boss wouldn't make a whole lot of sense, so who knows. Down we go. As far as I'm aware, our character is not wearing gloves, so I imagine that would result in some major, major rope burn. Do not jump in the lift! Danger of falling! Again, the sign. That wasn't really robotic-y sounding. Signs from this point forward shall be robotic. Just saying. If I remember. Alright, another scroll of melee mastery. And a precise ring of the archer. Hmm. 109% on that. And I can only wear one? Or did I just not equip that other one? Yeah, okay. You can wear up to eight rings. Holy crap. That is brilliant. Games usually limit you, limit you to one on each hand. Apparently here you can do... Uh, four on each hand. Or... Yeah, no ring in the thumbs, or it's like cartoon where there's um, only four fingers on each hand, and so you're wearing them on all hands, or all fingers. I have lots of arrows now too, which is good. Kill that snake, and finish lighting up this room, and exploring this room, and just finishing this room. Go figure. There we go, and let's go this way, because why not? Bunch of guards. Ah, yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and put our lighter back on a key so I can uh, remove it as needed. Like now. Though I guess when the guy across the room sees you, it doesn't really make much of a difference. Just close enough. Holding forward does allow you to inch yourself uh, towards your opponent. Ooh, a green short sword. I'm assuming that means it has some sort of magical property. Or properties. Oof. Oof, this anvil must weigh a ton. Can't move it. Alright, let's check out that sword we picked up. We're using a short sword, so it should be better. Extra damage with swords, plus six. Let's go ahead and assign that to our one key instead, because it's better, why not? Uh oh. Pressing F2 allows you to see all of the weapons you have and equip them. Press F1 to return to the shortcut panel. Indeed, there's a number of weapons there. There's some potions, scrolls, something, rings, something, and I guess that's what we have equipped currently. So, good deal with that. I guess I could also click them if I so chose. Yes. Alright. <sighs> I had to blow my nose, so I muted the microphone. Go me. Oh, great, this again. Oh, holy crap. Yeah, that didn't end well at all. I forgot to turn my lighter off, and lighting that lamp obviously did not help at all. Alright, let's try this yet again. So that's death number three. Unless I lost count already, it's number four, but I believe it's only three. I'm 
do I want to check? Okay, I have my ring already. I... What am I looking for? Lighter set to a key. That's what I'm trying to do. Alright, here we go. Oh crap, why? Okay, there we go. Ha! Ah, yeah, you can't get to me here. That sucks for you. And I have expected that. Didn't. Sorry, I couldn't be bothered pulling out my bone arrow. Hopefully, this poison wears out relatively soon, or I could be in trouble. It's still ticking down. I do have my halo. Where am I, where am I going? Okay, poison's down to two damage per tick, so I believe it's getting weaker. Let's t actually turn the light off this time. Let's get our trusty dagger equipped. And I got spotted anyway. Let's see if I can hide over here. Wait for them to walk away. So I can get down onto that ledge. That would be great. Apparently they don't want to move. Alright, we're going someplace else for now. Poison's still ticking down. Geronimo! Apparently we're going this way. Another snake. Not gonna get poisoned again. It's finally worn off. <laughs> Bucket on the floor. Some green magic essence. A mine cart. And some passageway. Another snake. Jeez. I just take these things out in melee, but like I said, I don't want to get poisoned again yet. Stuff walking around now, I think. Oh crap, like those. Let's go up this ladder so I can change my weapon. Are they gonna sit there now, too? Alright, so we have some fire ants, it looks like. If I can kind of sneak down there, that'd be awesome. Alright, sword seems relatively ineffective. They're ants, though, so perhaps smashing the crap out of them with a mace will work better. Alright, clear out, clear out, move away from the ladder. We're gonna try this again. I said move away from the ladder, thank you very much. Let's go for broke. Yes, this is more effective. They still have a lot of hit points. I am not in a happy place at all. And now we know the Halo takes a little while to uh, use. It's not, well, obviously not instant, but I didn't know I could interrupt it. So there's death number four, and we have accomplished absolutely nothing today. So once again, let's equip our ring. I should do this separately. Let's get our lighter set to a hotkey. All right, now all that's said and done, let's save the game. So I don't have to repeat that 20 times. All right. And I am so glad I got this door open. And that rope bird. Geronimo yet again. Oh, cr oh God, there we go. No, we're not going that way this time. There was something down here, though. Besides the snake. There's apparently snakes everywhere in here. At least they're not aggressive snakes. I may come to regret making that distinction, but, well, it is what it is. Oh, we have a little troll thing. Let's steal its chest first. A potion of minor healing. And here we go. Hey, what a pretty little girl. Why are you crying? Whoa, an evil dog took my doll! An evil dog? Is it very big? You know, like 20 feet tall and three-headed, like in Harry Potter? It's a little dog and it escaped through that door. It's home, it's, it's, it's dark and I'm afraid to go in. A little ankle biter? You know, I don't really like mutts, but this time there's no owner to miss him. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this. Don't worry, little girl. I'll bring back your doll right away. Retrieve a doll? What are you thinking? 
Don't you realize that this girl is defenseless? Kill her! Kill her! Really, Zara? Don't be such an asshat. Alright, what's the worst that could happen? Uh, apparently we can degen to death. This might be a bad idea. This is, is in fact a bad idea. And we can't teleport out of there. I don't know what was going on. Alright, so... We have not accomplished, well, anything this episode. And we saved the game yet again. So... We've explored a couple rooms. We have gotten nowhere. Let's try one last thing. We're just gonna go all the way down that mine shaft. What's the worst that could be at the bottom? Yeah. I have a feeling I'm gonna end up regretting this. And yay, still apparently no gravity. I said no gravity. I'll light some torches on the way, why not? Oh god, fire ants. And a fire ant mound. Amazingly, I did not get bitten by them. Bitten, bitten, yeah, whatever. Alright. That wasn't so much a word problem as a pronunciation problem. Alright, we have another door if I can get to it. Oh, these stupid bats, they are everywhere. Hopefully these bat wings end up being useful. And we have accomplished something. Yes, we have found yet another door. And you can't reach me here. So what are you gonna do about it? Nothing, because you're dead. Apparently they won't even, okay, I was about to say, they won't even jump down and try to chase me. No, here they all come at once. Holy crap, I am just going to run. Oh, good. No, not a happy place. Should have lit that torch while I was down there. Or whatever, lantern. No snakes. Stop biting me. Oh, I might unaccomplish anything I have accomplished this episode if I cannot make it back and get healed. I do not believe I can use my halo while poisoned. Apparently I can. Perfect. Saved and health restored. Alright, I accomplished something this episode. I found another door. Well, two more doors. Did I find two doors? Yeah. We found two more doors. We found the mine. We found a room full of angry orc things. We found a little girl who lost her dog, which is apparently some sort of demon in a room that just wants to kill us. Next time, we're gonna ex we have arrows pointing everywhere to rooms we haven't been to or have been to and died after going to. So we have a lot to explore still, after I spent 20 minutes or so dying over and over. We also have that challenge to do, and actually we're gonna give that a shot right now. We'll give it one shot now. I think that'll be my end of episode things. Every at the end of every episode, I will give challenges a try, unless they're like obscenely difficult to get to and annoying, in which case I might just like dedicate part of an episode to trying to solve them all right so what was the worst that can happen running past these eyes they appear, appear to have respawned apparently not much of anything all right here we go off to a, a great start our great start is continuing to be great And apparently I need to stay in the center of the room. So the closer to center I can stay, the more likely I am to complete this. Alright, there was the shot of that chow. Hmm. I was gonna say, oh, it can't be that easy. <laughs> Just sit there dead. But no, no. And death count, I don't, I forget what I'm up to. Five or six at this point. If we count that one, I guess that might be seven. I don't have any idea. Anyway, thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, rate, and or subscribe. And have a great day.